300 series stainless steel or 400 series stainless steel? Which one's best for my operation? We'll tell you everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi everybody, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and the question today is, does it really matter if I use 300 stainless steel or 400 stainless steel? And how are they even different? It's true, 300 and 400 stainless steel have similar qualities, but WS Tyler has worked with tons of different alloys for wire mesh for over 150 years and is here to ensure you have the know-how needed to select the best alloy for your operation. So in this video, we'll establish what stainless steel is, what 300 series stainless steel is, what 400 series stainless steel is, how the two compare, and which alloy you should use. Stainless steel is a steel alloy that demonstrates a longer life under severe corrosive temperature conditions. And there are a lot of different types of stainless steel in the market. The biggest difference between stainless steel and other alloys is its quality and the amount of carbon it contains. In order for steel to be classified stainless, it must be made up of a range of 0.1% and 0.2% carbon and must also contain more than 12% chromium. Since chromium is not typically found in steel, they have to add it to the molten steel in order to bond it on a molecular level. So with that now said, the main difference between the 300 series and the 400 series is their chemical makeup. The term 300 series stainless steel encompasses nine different alloys. 304, 309, 310, 316, 317, 318, 321, 330, and 347. The most widely used ones of the 300 series are 304 and 316. The rest of the 300 series are used for more special conditions. Now 304 stainless steel is an alloy that contains 18% chromium and 8% nickel. And 316 stainless steel is an alloy that contains 16% chromium 10% nickel, and 2% molybdenum. Generally when we say 400 stainless steel, we're actually talking about 430 stainless steel. It's the most widely used in the 400 series. This family of stainless steel contains 11% chromium and 1% manganese. I should also say that the 400 series has a higher carbon content than the 300 series does. This makes these alloys sturdier and more durable in the right applications. So the biggest difference between 300 series and 400 series stainless steel is the alloy's nickel content. The absence of nickel is a good tip off that it falls in the 400 series. The lack of nickel in its composition makes 400 series stainless steel far less resistant to corrosion than the 300 series. But I'll say, all stainless steel alloys are resistant to corrosion. Some are just less resistant than others, like the 400 series. Another big difference between 300 and 400 is the fact that the 400 series is magnetic. And when it comes to cost, 300 series stainless steel wire mesh typically stands as the most expensive of the two. It basically comes down to the fact that the 400 series does not have the corrosion resistant qualities that the 300 does. It depends on the operation. If the mesh is going to be introduced to harsh corrosive substances, 300 series alloys are the right choice. If your operation calls for the use of material that's magnetic, like the processing of food grade phosphate, 400 series has to be used. You can also apply 400 series if you're processing non-corrosive materials like food particles or aggregates. Now, these points will be what most people need to make their decision, but there are sometimes more uh, a niche reasons you should choose one series over the other. And so, if you have any more questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.